Hey everybody, it's me, Sabrina. My channel is The Hopeful Minimalist. It's a safe space for handbag admiration. So if you love handbags, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. I hope you all have had a lovely week. I have had a pretty good week. I cannot complain. I've just been pretty busy and not able to film any videos much, but here we are back at it today on Friday evening. So today I want to do a quick video on the Marc Jacobs, the sack bag. And today I want to feature the zebra print bag because although I've talked about the camel colored one, I feel like this one deserves a little bit of spotlight too. So let's just get started. But before that, bag of the day, of course, that's the Saint Laurent small Lulu puffer in the vintage Blanc, which is by far my favorite color in Saint Laurent handbags and leather goods. I absolutely love this color. I think it's the perfect winter white, but of course it would be perfect for spring, summer, all of the seasons. Um, this bag itself just feels like winter to me. I've talked about this before. It's something about the puffer style. It may be that it reminds me of a puffer jacket. I don't know, but it gives me winter and fall feels for sure, but I love this bag and I have one in black as well. I wouldn't mind having one in red, but um, this is a great bag. It holds a lot, I have a lot of stuff in here. Don't typically carry around a medicine bottle, but I have one in here today and it's got sunglasses, um, I'm using my Coach Lip Prints wallet, which I thought was so cute with this. It also has silver hardware. And then I've got just some SLGs, chargers, AirPods, everything you can think of. And it's a very nice fit. So bag of the day. All right, on to the sack bag. This is Marc Jacobs' sack bag in the Zebra Print. I got this from 24S. I talked to you about how initially I wanted the red sack bag. It sold out from under my cart. It was in my cart and it sold out. So I said, okay, not meant to be. Went ahead and went with the camel color. And then this one went on sale. And I just, I could not resist. I think this print is so beautiful and like neutral even though it's a print at the same time, I love it. I love how you can pair it with like a beautiful cobalt blue, red, yellow. It's just a great print, I love it. And it's not a stark white when it comes to the zebra print. The zebra print is actually darker. The light color in the zebra print is darker than the words in white. So it's really like a cream off-white against black as far as the zebra print goes. It's fully leather, just like the camel colored sack bag, leather on the outside, leather on the inside, and it has a fabric pouch, something dusty on mine, um, that you can attach with the D-ring. It's gonna be hard to show that, but there's a D-ring in there. You can attach your pouch and I love this bag. I used it this week. When I used it um, this week, I did not use the insert because it just, it took up too much space for what I wanted to carry. Now, if I'm using this as a purse handbag, I would more than likely use the pouch. But the other day I used it to carry my computer and some other large items like my coach notebook, my travel keyboard for my iPad, sunglasses, hand wipes, like larger items. And so when you use the pouch with larger items, it's going to take up a lot of space. When you are carrying something like a computer, it's definitely better to not use the pouch in my opinion. I did have some reservations about doing that because with a computer, sometimes you can have sharp edges depending on what type of computer it is. Like my MacBook wouldn't have had any sharp edges, but my work computer did. So I was a little hesitant, but everything, you know, ended up being fine. There was no damage done 
to the inside of the bag. One thing I want to mention about this bag, I was just about to do it again, is when you are removing the pouch or inserting the pouch, make sure that your pouch is fully zipped because the zipper teeth can do damage to this like rim around your bag. And I haven't done any damage yet, but I've had a couple of scares where I felt the zipper teeth go right across there. And I would hate to like tear the glazing. I believe there's glazing around, yeah. So there's glazing along this edge and the zipper teeth can tear that up if you don't zip this closed before you remove it or insert it. So the zipper or the zipped pouch has magnets on both sides and these magnets attach to the magnets on the bag. Now, if you get your pouch turned around and you insert it backwards, the magnets aren't going to work. So it's kind of a hint Hey, you put it in backwards. This leather pull that you use to attach the pouch is also gonna be out of whack because it needs to be this way to attach the D-ring. So there are a few little hints that the bag will give you if you happen to put the insert in backwards. There was something dusty on the pouch and I had to wipe that off, but I just used a wet wipe because this is a fabric pouch. The lining up here is leather and this patch right here is leather, but the rest of it is fabric. So it should be pretty easy for you to clean if you get um, a stain on it. The black is going to pick up a good amount of lint though. As far as the inside of the bag, this one is just like the camel colored um, sack bag. It's fully leather on the inside. It's that shiny slick leather and you can see like a bit of the zebra detail on the bottom and I'm thinking like I don't know if they did that to be cute or if it's just I don't know like the leather folding inward from the outside. I think it may be how they folded it along this seam right here but either way it's nice to see a glimpse of the zebra print in there. There is a slip pocket on the inside here it's mostly leather but there is some fabric on the inside of it and it has Marc Jacobs right there on the top in white it's a pretty nice sized slip pocket this bag is very flexible just like the camel colored one there is a difference in the texture to me it's it appears to be more I don't know, grainy and have more of a texture to it, but that could be because of the print. There's a little bit more wrinkling that I can see on this one as well, which I actually like. And another difference is that um, when I got this bag, it was, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out. Honestly, the bag was, the box was pretty much destroyed from its travels and there was a big hole in it and the FedEx driver actually she rang the doorbell and she said do you even want this because you can refuse it for for it to go back for inspection took a look at the box there was a big hole in it but I could see the Marc Jacobs dust bag and I thought that everything looked like it was intact there just happened to be a huge hole in the box so I accepted it took a look at it and everything was okay, but I did have a scare with how it arrived. Also this time, 24S had it packaged differently. They had it folded like this, so it came completely flat. The pouch was on the inside. And I think doing that did subject it to getting some wrinkling here in this crease, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be folded. I don't know. The first one that I got in the camel color was completely stuffed when I got it from 24S. The pouch was inside and it was full with tissue paper. So it took up the whole box. It was a huge box um, and it was completely like stuffed, filled out, no wrinkles, none of that. This time with this one though, packaged a completely different way, but it has not caused any issues that I'm aware of just yet. 
possibly some extra wrinkling to the leather. Though. This is how the bottom looks. And this is where they folded it. So that could be just a natural seam and place for them to fold it. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. If you have purchased one, how did you receive yours? Even if you got the mini one, did they fold it down the middle like that and ship it to you that way? Or did they have it completely stuffed? I have completely enjoyed carrying this zebra print bag as well as the camel one both times. I haven't used them a lot, but um, the times that I have used them, I enjoy it so much. It's a very comfortable carry. Even when you have heavier items inside of it, the bag is very lightweight and flexible. And I would definitely recommend picking up one. I do think that having the zebra print and the camel colored sack bag has almost influenced me to go ahead and sell my graceful mm because these bags are the shape that i wish the graceful mm was they have the slouch that i wish the graceful mm had um, my graceful mm i feel like i have to try to make it like slouch and it's a hobo bag but to me, it doesn't slouch in the right areas. It, I don't know, it just folds over in a weird way. I'll have to do a video and talk about it, but I have just not been satisfied with its hobo qualities. I'll say it that way. And the sack bags give me everything that I want in a hobo bag, so I might be selling the Graceful MM in the near future. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of spotlight this beautiful zebra print bag to give a closer look if anyone wanted to see it, if you are considering it, I think it's definitely worth it. 24S has been having some really good deals on the sack bags lately, so be sure to check 24S. Satire actually also had pretty good prices on the sack bags as well definitely more affordable than the Marc Jacobs website. So if you are considering one, consider those two websites. I will have some links below. And I hope that you've enjoyed the video and you're having a great week and have an even better weekend. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.